Hey guys, this is Hell Hades. This is a Raid Shadow Legends video. Guys, the Revenant Path event is live. Let's take a look. Um, uh, uh, Arix here, who is pretty trash, uh, looking pretty scary. So what's going on? From today, Wednesday the 16th until Monday uh, 21st, we're running the chilling Revenant Path event. I like they've called it something different. I like that they're trying to do different things. So let's see what this one's all about. The special event will task you with completing event objectives to earn coins, which you'll then be able to, to use to explore branching reward paths. Sounds a bit like the path of light to me. Uh, each path contains different rewards, but you can choose which reward path you want to go on. Blah, blah, blah. You need to do keys to unlock other paths. Yes. So it is another path of light. Um, and here it is. Okay. Revenant's path. Okay. At least it looks cool. It, like... You know, they're trying to, to do stuff here to mix up their events kind of scheduling. So for this one, let's move me out of the way so you can see. What do you need to do? Summon champions or get artifacts and accessories to do this one. So this weekend, there's going to be uh, a 10 times, I would imagine. They normally is, uh, almost always is. So uh, the summoning champions kind of depends if you want to get involved in that 10 times. There's also rumors going around about guaranteed champions, but we've had no confirmation or no uh, info on that yet. So not sure. I wouldn't just go ahead and summon champions today. Like it makes no sense to. So kind of hold fire and see what happens over the weekend, I would say. But the second part here is get artifacts and accessories. So let's see how many points we get for doing different stuff. So for summoning champions from shards, you can actually get nine points per mystery shard. 180 per ancient, 1100 void, four and a half thousand per sacred. And uh, let's do some quick maths and see how much it would cost to unlock the lot. Let's actually have a look down first, though. So, is there stuff we care about here? There's no shards or anything in it. There's a medium source soul stone that some people are going to be pretty keen to have a look at. Um, and some more kind of summoning soul stone stuff up there. A couple of chaos ores. I guess really, like for the for the average player, yeah, if you forget me, end game players, that type of stuff. Me and end game, we're like, where's the where's the summoning stones? Where <laughs> pretty much that's it. Like, where's the summoning stones? Maybe chaos or some legendary books, yes. But for the average player who's played this game less than three months, you should be looking for you know, where do I get the stuff to to advance my account? And honestly, you've got an epic book here, you've got chicken here. The feast in the middle here could be good. So the feast takes someone instantly to rank six. It's actually massive, honestly, for someone who's kind of playing the game um, and is quite new in. You need to unlock that. No, you don't. So actually, you can go for the feast without unlocking, but the feast is a massive 40,000 points down there. Um, and then, obviously, legendary tomes. Anytime you can get legendary tomes is huge as well for your account, especially if you're kind of coming through the game. So it feels like the average player would want to go down the left-hand side here, grab this epic book, and then either focus on trying to get a feast or come down here and get this legendary uh, book here, which I think you can probably side swipe in and get it with this key. So I think the first legendary would be the kind of first port of call for the average player. Epic book, legendary book, five-star chicken. So I've just been working through some numbers here. If you just wanted to get down to this first book, so you're going to be grabbing an epic book, a five-star chicken and a legendary book, which is a pretty decent chunk of prizes, really, for a average player. Yeah, this is like the absolute godsend for the average player. That's going to cost you thirty-three thousand and fifty points. We'll see what that means in a minute. Uh, if you want to grab the feast, but not go down this side, so just the feast, it's going to cost you sixty-six thousand and fifty points. If you're going to grab the feast and the book, so this kind of whole left-hand side combo. That's going to cost you 86,050 points. And if you want to do the whole lot, it's going to cost you hundred just under 143,000 points. So we saw... Oh, did the wrong thing. We saw what the point scoring was like for, for summoning. Yeah, so you basically... I mean, if you were to do that all in sacreds, let's just have a quick look and see what that would be. Divided by 4,500. That would be 32 sacred shards to do that. Uh, if we were to do that... Uh, if we were to do just like the feast and the book combo, let's have a look at that. Feast and book combo, just doing it through summoning. 
Uh, just through summoning ancients. Let's see that. That would be nearly 500 ancient shards. So that's not going to be a path that, that you're going to want to do. Because that is a ton to do that. You're going to have to mix in some of the get artifacts and accessories um, part as well. So, you know, if you're farming, let's say, stage 20 plus on Dragon or Spider or wherever, then you're going to be looking to get this kind of combination of five and six star gear between Epic and Legendary. So let's say on average, our point drawing is 38 per item. If you were just doing it through that and you wanted to get the, the Feast and the Legendary book, how many items would we need to farm? 2,264 times it up by, let's call it 20 energy. That's going to be about 45,000 energy to do that. So, I mean, it, it's, <laughs> it's going to be a lot of work to get decent prizes here. It's going to be a lot of work. And it's, it's, I, the way I would play this, yeah, now that I've, I've had a little bit of a think on it, the way I would play it is play the game normally. Yeah, go out there, farm up. We know we're going to be farming up um, for stuff in these kind of super raids anyway. The spider one's coming to an end. We're going to have dragon speed gear coming up. We're going to have ice girl and reflex gear coming up. Both of those are really good sets. So we're going to be like over-indexing in farming items anyway. Yeah. And you're going to want to make sure that you've got decent teams to do those two because those two sets are really good. So I would say play the game as normal. Perhaps put a bit more energy into farming over this time. And probably just save up your points and see where you think you can get to before you start making decisions. There's not really anywhere. Like normally there's energy down the road. Yeah, it's almost like, yeah, you've done this much, but don't worry. Here's a little drop of energy. There's nothing like that. Nothing like that in this one. So. You may as well just save your points until the end of the whole thing and see how far you can get yourself. And by then, you'll also know if, you, if you're going to do any summoning over the weekend, if there's any kind of guarantees going on, and you'll get a better feel for what you can unlock and which path you want to take. Yeah, I mean, I don't mind this type of event. It feels like the, I mean, the storing is, is harsh. It, it almost like revolves around, you know, you should be pulling sacreds if you want to try and complete it. But then we don't have to complete in full every event. Sometimes you just got to pick your path that you think is most useful to you. Like I don't really care for my account about, you know, some of this stuff. Five star ore here. I don't really care about these two. So they're just wiped off. Now, that's like 6,000 points I don't care about. I don't care about this line here. That's another couple of thousand points. Uh, I would like to get this. I probably, I like feasts, obviously. Like feasts are, are damn good. But then for my account, I don't take a lot of, rares or epics now to six stars so a feast becomes way less valuable than for someone who's perhaps you know in the mid game trying to get other epics up to six star this this is really good for an epic champion not so good if you're trying to get legendaries going so yeah you just kind of got to pick and choose what you think's most valuable to you and kind of work your way through it and see how you get on but it definitely feels like if you're not pulling voids or sacreds during the weekend it's going to be way harder to get some of the, the kind of real juicy rewards at the end of this. I'm going to call out as well. Someone's just me mentioned it in my Discord, so I thought I'd throw it into the video. There is a champion training tournament coming tomorrow. And it says here, and I don't know if this is a typo or what. There's no info in content creator chat at all about any of this stuff. So it says here, get ultimate death knight. In this special champion training tournament. But it doesn't say get the skin. Like up here it says you can win a corrupted, uh, sorry, a Necrobia Cold Heart skin, right? So this this is quite clear that this is a skin reward. And I was thinking, oh yeah, this is going to, just going to be a new Ultimate Death Knight skin. But actually it says get Ultimate Death Knight. Now we've, anyone who's been playing the game over the last few months, will know he was a freebie just recently, right? He's a good champion. He's a freebie. It seems a weird one to put as a reward for a champion training tournament if it's get this champion. Obviously, dupes can help in this game. Don't get me wrong. But it's not the type of champion that I would, you know, strive to get a dupe of. It's too recent that they've, they've given him out as a freebie for, you know, a wide group of players to want to get him. 
that haven't had him before. If this was like get Ninja in this champion training tournament, damn, there would be thousands of people absolutely all over it. If it was to get one of the new uh, faction from a champion training tournament, then there would be thousands of players trying to win. But I'm really interested to see what this is uh, and, and what they're doing with it. Because this is, uh, this doesn't make a lot of sense in my head. But um, yeah, I don't know. Comment below if you've got some ideas of what you think it is. Comment below because that's uh, an interesting one to me. But yeah, also comment below. What do you think of Revenant's Path? Um, have I done any of my maths completely wrong, by the way? And you're like, hold on a minute. It's way less than what you're saying. I'd be interested in that as well. And um, if there, is there something in particular that you want from this path that you're going for? Let me know. Anyway, guys, I've been Hell Hades. Have a good day. I'll see you later.